Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. An additional GP in there should help to bring the lines down. And look at this. It was the drinks machine. This is what the main queue is here, is people waiting for drinks. Training what? course completed. Drinks and food. As another person has died. Treatment failed for rock bottom. Are you not able to do this? Needed in a staff room. Right, you are able to do this. Are you going to work? That one worked. Right, we only failed one there, but we, we have got a few people who are not making it, which is a really, really bad thing. I also need to deal with the ghosts at some point. You have got ward management. Training Doctor course complete. In research. Is that all of them? Right, that is all of the training courses completed. I've got the research doctor is busy working on that. Look at the queues of people here. There's loads of them. But we're now, at least we're getting through that bit there. This, this is making a big difference. It doesn't look like all that many people are using these. And there's another person has died. How many janitors have I... Ooh. Oh, no, it's just saving. How many janitors have we got here? We've got four janitors. Uh, staff. Janitors. I've got two that are able to capture ghosts, so they should be doing stuff. On a break, cleaning up litter, repairing, uh, repairing. I need someone to go and clean up the litter. Ready for training. He's not. I'd like you to all think of a butterfly sleepily waving its colorful wings. Isn't that a lovely image? Meanwhile, in the news today, the mayor has announced a 100% increase in our taxes. <laughs> okay. A 100% increase in our taxes. There's a lot of ghosts here. Oh, there we go. We've got a janitor finally cleaning up the ghosts. That's good. We need them to keep cleaning up the ghosts. I've got six patients have been cured of animal magnetism. I need more patients to be cured of that. That's, that's kind of what we're after. Right, staff training required. Sam Blunder has gained lots of experience on the job. He'll soon be ready for promotion to senior assistant. His current qualifications are... Um, right, train. I want to train him in customer service three. Uh, there. Do I have... I don't have any other trainees available, but... I reckon that we could do that. One customer service level three, start training. I'll get him training up immediately. Someone else has died. This whole people dying thing is not very good. There's a queue outside of the GP's office. I don't know about you, but I find the relentless stream of death somewhat depressing. Do you think we could go a few months without any fatalities? Go 90 days without a death. Um, last time we tried that, we lasted about a day, maybe two, and that was it. Um, challenge, cure six patients with rock bottom, treatment room injection, one in the hospital. You cured five out of six patients. We cured enough of them. Ideal. Fan schmastic. We've got that one done. Um, 90 days of death. When first entering the hospital, please make your way to reception. Okay, uh... Watch out for mono beasts scurrying around the hospital. I haven't seen any mono beasts yet. I didn't realise that I had to physically point on them when I seen them. So we'll have to make sure that we keep an eye out for them. Bins will become full. Have you noticed that this great big queue of people that we had here is now slowly being gotten rid of? The patient is unhappy with the hospital and is storming out. Their top complaints, very hungry, very thirsty, desperate for the toilet. They were in the hospital for 252 days. Raymond Beetroot is ready for promotion. Let's move him up the list. There we go. Up the, up the, up the money one. Um, right, unfortunately, we had an issue there. We've got, we've got an issue with toilets. I think what I need to do is I need to extend this toilet out. They're hungry and thirsty. 
Hungry and thirsty, and they need the toilet. I've got a toilet there with two cubicles, and I've got two more cubicles over this side, although those aren't being used that much. So really, we want them to be using the ones over here a little bit more. And I figure that the best way to do that is we will extend this toilet out a little bit. Right. So I will click on here. Uh, first up, let's move the purple bench. I'll put that one down there. And I'll put that one over there for a minute. Then we can go into this room, edit. And I want to make it a little bit bigger, like this. That door needs to move over to there on that end. That one will go to there. That one will go to there. The other stuff can stay as it is, and I can squeeze in one additional toilet cubicle right in there. Right. Build room. There we go. Slightly bigger room now. Uh, that purple bench can go there like that. That one. Let's bring that one down here and drop that one there. So that people can use it while they're queuing up down here maybe. Something like that. It's a little bit out of the way. That plant right there. I'm going to use that space for a snack machine. I don't know where to put this plant. Let's drop that one there, shall we? Right, and then I want a snack machine. I want to go into here. I've got another drinks machine there, so I want another snack machine to go right there so that the people who are coming into reception have got additional snack machines that they can use. And hopefully, just hopefully, this is going to help with these massive great big queues of people. Right? They're coming, they are wanting food, and they're wanting water as well. Uh, food and drinks. As long as we can keep the food and the Assistant drinks going. Marketing. Okay, is she is she asleep? Pretty sure she was asleep just then. Over here, we're training him in customer service three. There's a queue outside of general diagnosis. What's wrong with this person? Grey anatomy. Are they? He's unhappy. Is he not being treated? General, diagnos uh, d g general Diagnostics. They've got a nurse in here who's, who's busy doing some work. I don't know how much work she's doing. The GPs. This seems to be the biggest thing. I've got four GP offices here. And, right, what's wrong with you? We'll leave soon. 345 days since arrival. Illness, difficulty, diagnosis, staff skill, upgrade, feeling unhappy, an appointment with psychiatry. Uh, let's move him up the queue, shall we? You go in next. I want you to go in next. That might help speed things along a little bit. That point radio. Ah. Greetings and congratulations for joining me on this, the finest day of the year, the day of my birth. Needless to say, today's show will honor the man of the hour, the heartbeat of this county, and the crown jewel of Two Point Radio. Me, Sir Nigel Bickleworth. <laughs> I like Sir Nigel Bickleworth, he's brilliant. Uh... What I don't like is these massive queues. I've got 10 people queuing up. Is that 10 people in total across all of them? Or what? I I'm not quite sure. He's, he's, he's dead. Mood poisoning. Well, that's not very good. Right, hopefully that guy there can get some diagnostics going on in here. Although psychiatry shouldn't really be for that. These people are finally... The queues are disappearing. That's making a big difference. Dr. Honeydew, needed in research. Right, we've got the doctor in research over here. Dr. Frank Manners is busy doing his work. That's, that's brilliant. Doctor to psychiatry, please. <laughs> oh, look! <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. 
I need to get more trading underway. But, uh, uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> broken leg on a treadmill. That is fantastic. Oh, that was absolutely wonderful. That was health low. I wonder why. Heading for GP's office, 11th in the queue. Announcement. Plants need water. I'm going to jump you right to the front of the queue right there. And we need to do this a little bit more, I think. We need some more micromanagement with this. Uh, you right there, your general diagnosis. Anybody that's got low health needs to be jumped up the queue a bit. But I'm going to need another GP's office. i got no choice. That's what we've got to have. The GP's office has got to be the next thing that we do, and I need a brand new one. It's going to go right in that square right there, which means that radiator. Uh, let's put that radiator there, shall we? That one can go against the wall. That drinks machine can go there for a minute. Queue outside of a GP's office. I know I'm making a new one. So we're going to copy that GP's office there and we're going to drop it there. Perfect. In every way. That is just going to be dumped right down there. I'm going to hire a new GP in here. I could do with one with general practice. Right. Hire. You go into there. You've already got a queue of people. Right, yeah, there's already a queue of people over here. Rooms, no items, purple bench. Let's put some more benches over here. And, right, staff challenge. Unfortunately, we failed to complete the request from Jezebel Gruff. Go 90 days without a, um, a death. Research complete. Good news. We've developed a new training course of researchers. Train your researchers to make them even more productive. Research level three. Fantastic. Right. I will make use of that right now. Research three. Trainers available is that dude. It's 15,000, 25,000 it's going to cost to do this. Dr. Frank Manners, you are the man. You're going on this course. Right, how long is that? 27 days. That's not too bad, actually. 27 days. Automated snack machines need restocking manually. I cannot help but think back to those birthdays of yesteryear and the sepia days of my youth. Breaking in a freshly opened hoop and stick. My sister swallowing her favorite marble, roughhousing in the parlor, the air thick with the smell of Mama's spotted dick. Ah, those are some of my favorites. Do get in touch to let us know which of my memories is your favorite. <laughs> get in touch to let us know which of my memories is your favorite. Okay, he's doing all right in there with that one. What about you? He's, he's, level, he's first in the queue, and you are first in the queue. The hospital isn't covering costs. The hospital is fine. The hospital is absolutely fine. I need to get some of these people. Right, you need to move up the queue. Bins will become full. I've got a queue of people waiting to go into the toilets here. Right, generally people are doing all right, but it's it's getting them into the GP's offices. They're not being seen by the GPs. Why is it taking so long? How many GPs do I need? This is the bad bit. Right, I've got a toilet there. I've got someone who's about to perish. Dying health depletion. Maintenance announcement. Toilets need routine servicing. I did have a really good... Oh, no, current reputation, 78%. Right, my reputation in the hospital is absolutely fantastic. Despite the fact that people are dying left, right and centre. This... This is not good. People are not supposed to be dropping dead. We've got another person who is available. Staff promotion. Janitor, right there. Promote. There's a queue outside of general diagnosis. So we could do with another general diagnosis. William Infinity Junior Doctor. It would be great to work in a really spacious environment with lots of luxury furnishings. Something really prestigious. What do you think? Challenge. Get a level four psychiatry. Accept. 
I can do that. Maintenance announcement. Plants need water. Plants need water. Right, are you using psychiatry for diagnostics? Because I'm thinking you shouldn't be. I'm thinking it should be treatment only. Treatment in process. In process? In progress. I have got another psychiatry room, haven't I? Yes, I've got another psychiatry over here, and that's busy working. We're going to get this one here moved up. This, this is the one that we're going to edit. So I'm going to pause a minute, and I'm going to edit this room. I need prestige level four in this room. We're prestige level three. Uh, normally, my approach to this is to simply put posters on the wall. But I'm thinking with a psychiatrist's office, you don't really want too many posters on the wall, but maybe we could do it with these. They are not putting very much prestige up. Look at that. That is not helping. The fireplace provides ambiance and warmth. There's 300k points for that. Diagnostic bookcase, that would be pretty good. And a treatment bookcase as well. Lamp. We can have a lamp. We can put a lamp in here. Somewhere. Where can we put this lamp? Uh, can't put it there. I can put the lamp there. That was quite a bit of prestige, that was. So let's put another one in here, shall we? I can put one just in front of the radiator, actually. There. The furnace we can't do. We don't want the... Ice sculpture or anything like that. The trophy case. Increases hospital attractiveness and a room prestige. I don't want a trophy case. The gold record is... One of the, the best ones because of the space that it takes up. Right? It doesn't take up very much space. And it still allows you to have these gains on it as well. Right? Jasmine Odyssey is going to hide behind there. Um, in shame, we'll do a shock horror in here. And I'll do some posters down this side, because those are facing away from the patient. So I figure that's probably a better thing. Keep them away from the patient, and it'll be better. Better for the patient. So I've got Mock Star right there. That is something that we deal with in this room. And Animal Magnetism, Clowns, Food. We can have a Rorschach poster. Hidden in behind there. Actually, I'm going to put a Rorschach poster there as well. And that's level four. There we go. Right. Nice. And go there. We've got 25% uh, happiness and 10k points for that one. Animal magnetism needs to be cured on there. Now, I have had people asking me if I could, like, stay in a hospital rather than going and starting again with so many different hospitals. And just stay in one place for a bit longer and build it up further. I'm considering this, however, I, I'm not sure that that's... Um, that I want to work through the various different... Right, there's a training course complete. I need to get another one. Um, I'm not sure that I really want to do that at the moment because every time I go to a new hospital, I'm, getting, I'm unlocking new features and, and new things. Um, and then I'll come back later on and do some more with um, boosting things up even better. That's, that's kind of the, the way I was looking at it. Uh, just wondering what I should do, whether I should go for additional customer service for some of our receptionists. Um, maintenance 3 plus 30% maintenance skill. Ghost capture... I could train two of my janitors in ghost capture, although we've, I mean, I've got two trained in that. They do seem to be staying on top of the ghosts reasonably well. Diagnostics. Diagnostics would probably help. Right, if we, if we could get some additional diagnostics, that would probably help. Right, what have I got in the way of trainees that need basic diagnostics? I Treatment, there. There's just some junior doctors in there. And Diagnostics 2, I've got uh, two trained. I've got one available that can get Diagnostics 2. Pharmacy management, not so much. Psychiatry, I've got 10 trained in psychiatry. 
Um, Psychiatry 3. I don't have anybody available for Psychiatry 2 at the moment. Ward Management, I thought, is another good one. Uh, I've got three people trained in that. Uh, in level two, and then I've got two of them, uh, six of them in level one. So we're all right there. General practice. That's probably a good one to go with at the moment. And I won't use one of my own doctors. I'll go here. I've got psychiatrist. So I only want one person to do that course. I'd rather have a course that I can have a few extra people doing, to be honest. Just, I'd, I'd like to have a course that I can have at least two people doing. Maybe even three. Treatment. We are getting a lot of failed treatments. It's diagnose, uh, di diagnostics. I want more people. Trainees there. Trainers. We'll bring in a trainer. Three trainees available for diagnostics. We've got a nurse, definitely. Uh, that doctor there. I don't want the psychiatrists doing diagnostics. I'd rather they stayed with doing what they are. So we'll start that. We've got two people training in diagnostics. I think that's pretty good. Then if we go to staff in here, job list, uh, doctors down this way. Right. The ones that I want to allow in psychiatry and the ones that I don't want. So you are treatment three. You are going to be allowed to work in it. I don't... Oh, Deluxe Clinic, Pan's Lab allowed. Don't work in the GP's office. I don't want you in here. I want you in psychiatry or those two. Miss Mewling, diagnostics. Don't work in psychiatry. You stay out of psychiatry. You are allowed in those and you're allowed in the GP's office. Uh, you down here, stay away from the GP's office because you don't have the bonus for that. Your treatment. So psychiatry for treatment. I suppose really anyone that's... No, your diagnostics. You don't... You're not qualified. Oh, you are qualified, but you've got that one. I don't want research. Yeah. Uh, he's only research. Then we've got... This one is only allowed in psychiatry. We could do with possibly training them up a little bit more, but that's fine. He'll stay in psychiatry. Charlie Backthumper. I've kept him out of psychiatry at the moment, which means that really he's only useful in general practice. So I could allow him in there and keep him out of these two. I'm, I'm sort of more limiting the ones that will be allowed to go into the Pan's Lab and the Deluxe one. Uh... You definitely stay with psychiatry. Eve Nut, psychiatry and general practice. So you can stay out of those two. And the same with Pedro Legend. I'll keep him out of psychiatry. Well, well, he can work in the G... I need plenty of people working in the GP's offices. I've got to remember that. So I'm allowing these two in GP's offices. And they don't have the, the, the necessary qualification for it. That William... Infinity will soon be leveled up, so we'll be able to get him a little bit more training soon. And you've got increased diagnost your your training diagnostics at the moment and treatment, so you can we'll let you work in the GP's office even though you're not like fully qualified for it. Treatment and psychiatry, I will swap those two round. Right. I think that's pretty good for there. Here they can all do everything. I'm quite happy with that. Nurses down this way. This is where it gets a little bit more complicated. Um, ward management and then fracture ward. Okay, they're, they're doing okay. You, I've only got one of those rooms, so I'll take that one off of there. And the rest of them, we'll leave it like that. Right, excellent. And go. That's going to move things around a little bit. Just keep it all moving. We've only got one animal magnetism that we still need to do, which means that once we've... In marketing. Once we've done one more animal magnetism, I've got this research pod that I will be able to... Start. There's another person has died right there. There's another person has died right there. I'm not very good at this. I am not very good at this at all. And that one right there is the animal magnetism. And I suspect that is going to be the end of um, this...
area here. There we go. Dear Hospital Administrator, one star hospital. Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a one star rating by Two Point Health Ministry. A fine town is deserving of a fine hospital, don't you think? Of course you do. That's precisely what you've begun developing. Top drawer. Your efforts in the world of marketing have not gone unnoticed. May your corporate siren song bring forth a bounty of cash-rich sickos. If you grow tired of making us money, I suggest that you'd venture eastward into the county's most toilety region. Yours fragrantly, Tarquin Foxbridge, Health Minister. Okay, so we are suggested we've got smogly meltdowns and underlooked hotel have all been unlocked. We've got kudosh points, 100 bonus of ten thousand dollars right there we're going to open a map so yes i am I'm aware one that... for conspiracy theories but you ever wondered why the meltdowns is in the state it's in abandoned buildings mutated wildlife eerie reports you ask me it's something to do with all the experiments going on in those secret government facilities actually i guess i am one for conspiracy theories there is really very little reason to visit Two Point County's desert region, and even less reason to set foot upon its drabbest little town. I speak, of course, of Smogly, where popular pastimes include vigorous coughing and waiting in line for surgery. Well, I suppose everyone has to live somewhere. People often ask me, Hey Wolf, what's your favorite place in this crazy county of ours? And I always say, Angel look, man. Not that I'm into skiing or little snow-covered cottages, but there's something special about it. And everyone should spend at least one night in the spooky Underlook Hotel. There are new opportunities for our organization in the north and south of the county. Take a look. So we've got these three new locations up here. Oop. Dear Hospital Administrator, I am an ambassador for the Big Fo Bigfoot Foundation, a group that helps preserve the Pointy Mountain region and support its mountain communities, often the most overlooked people in all of Two Point County. We weren't even in the game until now. Our health care has been lagging behind for some time, and when I heard about the good work you've been doing down in the county, I thought I'd reach out and see whether you'd consider coming to the Pointy Mountains to treat people at a higher altitude. The Underlook Hotel, the region's biggest tourist hotspot, has recently been forced to introduce a medical emergency budget. I've spoken to the owner, and he's very keen for you to come and run the hotel's newly opened hospital. What do you say? I look forward to hearing from you. Your friend, Bartholomew F. Yeti. P.S. Pack a scarf. Right, well that is this one up here. Oh, that's Flemington. That's the one that we're playing at the moment. Get rid of that. Underlook Hotel. Run the medical facility of this much maligned resort. And then we've got... That one there is unlocked. That's, that's aliens, that is. That's a, a, a new region. I will... Right, so anyway, I just, I just address this thing that some people have been asking me. There's one down on islands down there. Um, I will come back to some of these hospitals and we'll see about sort of moving them up. But... I need to be going to the new zones to unlock the new stuff. Um, and so that's kind of what I've been doing at the moment. I am trying to work through them as rapidly as I possibly can when I'm in a new region. Just to try and, like, speed things along a little bit. There's bitter cold up there. We've got more bitter cold up there. What's that? Um, Roquefort Castle. So I've, I've got a few of these that I can go to. And then we've got Meltdowns. And Smogly, a teaching hospital focused on surgery. Well, I think that's quite enough care and loving attention inflicted upon the patients from myself for today. So we will return next time. In the meantime, if you have enjoyed this episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.